Whatever pet I hatch and adopt me, I adopt in real life. This is a safari egg, one of the rarest eggs in the game, and we'll be hatching that, alongside five other eggs in Adopt Me, to help raise money for these endangered animals. Let's first of all hatch a cracked egg, while my friends work on manually hatching a safari egg. Alright, Cammy, we're gonna get in here, what do we got? A safari egg? Yes, we got a safari egg. Yeah, and what are we gonna do with this, guys? We are gonna hatch this the old-fashioned way. We're gonna age it, right? Yeah, we're not gonna use the robots. Nope, but whatever we hatch, Cookie is going to adopt in real, in real life. life. This could get really insane. We're going to manually hatch this egg to find out what pet we will go and get. And whatever pet we hatch, we're gonna go and donate real life money to adopt them in real life. The pets that we can hatch that we're able to adopt include a camel, dogs, a donkey. Yeah, I'm not actually gonna adopt a robot if I hatch a robot. A poodle, a parakeet, an orangutan, a mouse, dragonflies is a weird one swordfish or a zebra. Obviously, if I hatch an ancient dragon or an alley corn, that would be very rare, but unfortunately, I can't adopt these as they're already extinct. That's right, these animals don't exist. So let's go and wait for our first task to go and manually hatch the cracked egg and find out what the first pet that we'll be adopting will actually be. Let's go camping, okay. We just have to go and run on over to the campsite and we also got a second task that the pet needs some sleep. Now you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, I just love animals, and I want to try and help fundraise some money towards a charity. Which is why there is a donation link on the side of this video where we can try and raise money as well. But all of the money raised from that goes straight to the WWF to help look after endangered animals. So let's wait for this cracked egg to go and hatch and find out what we could possibly get. The second task is that the pet is sleepy, so I think we can actually go and use one of these beds. So let's wait for the camping, and then if one of these tents is free, we can place the egg in that. Alright, task is about to be complete, and yeah, that's right, it is halfway hatched. Now that might sound completely bizarre, how in the world did I get a halfway hatch already on a cracked egg, when typically it takes you four tasks. Well, Adopt Me has given me the magical power of double pet aging. So, what are we gonna go and hatch out of the first egg? And we got, what's it gonna be? It is... A donkey! Oh my word, where did my donkey go? Come on out here, Mr. Donkey. That's right, we have to adopt a real life donkey. The donkey is a uncommon pet. This is what the dude looks like inside of Adopt Me. Now what I need to go and do is actually find a place where I can actually go and adopt a donkey in real life. That means I'm actually going and giving some money to help look after donkeys in real life because they kind of just need some support out there. This is Wiggins and Wacko. These are two donkeys that are friends and these donkeys were abandoned by their owner. So what I'm going to do is go and adopt Wiggins and Wacko myself and go and give them money to help them get looked after. So not only are we looking after one donkey, the money's actually going towards two donkeys. Let's go. Now that we've hatched the first pet, let's go and check in how the safari egg is going and hatching along. I have not aged an egg in forever. How long is this going to take? I don't I know, know, but... It's not that bad. No, it won't be that bad for sure. No chores yet. This fiery egg is literally the rarest egg in Adopt Me, so big shout out to the Sopo Squad for helping with this charity event. But next, what we're going to go and do is hatch something related with tigers. You see, my YouTube logo is a literal tiger, and I want to help fundraise money towards tigers. Now, there is no possible way to randomly hatch a tiger out of an egg. And since we want to go and fundraise money for the tigers, what we have to go and do is open up a Luna Tiger box. The Luna Tiger box has three separate options of what we could get. We could get the Luna Gold Tiger, the Luna White Tiger, or just the Luna Tiger. So let's go and find out what I will hatch out of this box to help fundraise money towards tigers, which is literally the logo of my YouTube channel, which proves how much I love tigers. So let's go and place this down and pray that we get something good. And we got just a regular good old Luna Tiger. We got the rare one, obviously it's uh, the worst one that I could have possibly hatched but it is a Luna Tiger. Now that means I'm gonna go and adopt a real life 
Tiger. I just adopted a tiger from the WWF and they actually sent me a little booklet. Inside is full of facts and fun information about the tiger that I adopted, telling me what my money's gone towards to help protect the tigers from becoming extinct. The next egg that we're going to be hatching is a danger egg. The pets that I could hatch out of this are a fish, an octopus, whatever the world that is, I don't know. A hippo, that'd be interesting. Another type of bird, a liger, which is a combination of a tiger and a lion. A puffer fish, a poison dart frog, an owl bat which obviously if I hatch that, then I'd donate money to an owl. And a mosquito, probably the only one that I will uh, not be donating to if we hatch, as mosquitoes are just evil. <laughs> First task is to go and sleep the egg. So let's go and put this dude into my lovely little old bed. All right, sleepy danger egg, I wonder what you're gonna go and hatch. Obviously, I'm also hoping that I do go and hatch a legendary, which at the same time, we're hoping that the safari egg hatches into a legendary, as that is one of the most expensive and rarest eggs you could possibly go and hatch. And if that isn't a legendary, then we are definitely in trouble. But now we've gone and got this task done, let's check in on the safari egg. Okay, so right now I have thirsty tasks. All right, so we got okay, the okay. first task. Okay, okay. Next, I can switch. Ooh, nice. So how many is it gonna take, right? So we've had Probably one like shore, this is the three. second. Or like one or two more. Yeah, I'd say, one. yeah, I'm gonna say two more after the sleep. Or it's Ooh, one. That's pretty good. I think good. it's one. Yeah, it could be I'm one. I'm gonna put it in the bath. Right Yo, what is the pet gonna be? Dude, I'm so excited. Some people have said that actually really aging it instead of using the Robux, I don't know, gives you a little bit more luck. I, I don't know the validity of that. I think it should be the other way that. around. Yeah. Spending money. Exactly, that's what I would say too, because you're spending. Yeah. All right, we got another task for the danger egg, which is to go and have a bath. Again, for me to go and hatch this, I only need to complete myself three separate tasks. Typically, you need six, but yeah, as I said, I'm very lucky that Adopt Me gives me double pet aging alongside every single YouTuber. I guess it's so they can make videos better. But we're giving money to charity, so don't get angry at Adopt Me for giving me the double aging. One task left on the danger egg. I'm excited. I honestly have no idea what animal that I'm about to go and give charity money to. My final task is that my egg needs to go to school. Alongside that, I get 18 bucks, so I don't mind going and doing this one. All right, let's go and sit in a cafeteria and uh, put my egg on the bench so we can have some school dinner, I guess. And we'll find out what my danger egg will actually go and hatch into. Halfway gone through the school task, this is gonna be interesting. I am obviously crossing my fingers that I get like an owl bear or the Spinosaurus since those are legendaries and I would love to hatch a legendary out of the danger egg as my luck from this egg has been really bad in the past. But let's find out. Anything but a common would be absolutely amazing. Danger egg, what in the world are you going to be? Please be good. And we got ourselves a Liger. Okay, that's, uh, that's very interesting. Well, 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 I'm... That's kind of a cool pet, to be honest. Since you can't actually adopt a Liger, as it's not really like an animal that you really come across, because it's a combination of a tiger and a lion, which is actually a real life animal. So instead, I'm just gonna go and donate some money to a local cat charity instead but the money will go and help look after cute little cats, I guess. The money's actually going towards a charity that one of my old cats that I used to have before they passed away actually came from. Somebody abandoned the cat, the charity found it, and then we adopted it. My cat's name was Willow. Unfortunately, she passed away um, over a year ago now. So out of respect um, of my cat, we're gonna donate some money to her charity. The cat company actually asked if I wanted to go to the place where they were adopted. So if you wanna see a video where I go and see all of the money that goes towards these cats and what effect it goes and does, then let me know in the comments and I'll make a follow-up video where I show what the money's being used for. So let me know if you wanna see that in the comments. But now let's go and check in on the safari egg and see how that's actually coming along. Yeah. Oh, it's dirty, look at it. Uh -oh. Wait, it's not even light out. Uh oh, go it's back like to it. What if it hatches? Here okay, we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can it happen? Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh. How do you do that? A hyena. A hyena? Yo, bro, Cookie, how are you gonna do that one, man? I don't that's know. That's crazy. That is 
sick. That's a good pet. I like the hyenas, though. I'm not going to lie. Look at him chilling right there. He's vibing. Yeah. OMG. I almost had a heart attack there because it was, like, delayed. And then What's, I... What does a hyena <laughs> They just hatched a hyena, which is a really cool pet. But unfortunately, there's not actually an option to go and adopt one. So instead, I'm simply going to go and donate the money directly to the WWF, where they can go and evenly distribute it towards different types of animals. But that's really cool that they still went and hatched the safari egg. But let's now continue to hatching some more. And this leaves me with the final egg, the desert egg. We're going to go and manually hatch this as well to find out what sort of pet we will go and get out of this. This is taking so long to get my first task, but we finally just got one, and the desert egg is sleepy, so what I'm gonna go and do is reset my avatar. Nice little life hack. Goes and brings you straight back to your house, and oh, it now says it's thirsty. Okay, I knew something was up. I knew it was taking a while for me to go and get pet tasks. So the desert egg is the most recent egg inside of Adopt Me, and uh, there is a bunch of fun pets we can go and get. Actually, it needs to sleep. I clicked the wrong thing. So let's go and see what we could possibly get out of the desert egg and what we might be going and giving our money to. So out of the desert egg, I could get an armadillo. Imagine if I had a cactus friend. That would be slightly funny. A coyote, a cryo sphinx doesn't actually exist. Scorpions, a gila monster, a vulture, a devil, a sandfish, Roadrunner, Rattlesnake, or an Oryx. Quite the interesting selection of animals and creatures that we could possibly go and hatch out of this egg. Obviously, I'm hoping that I go and get one of the legendaries, but at the same time, it would be pretty cool to go and give some money to an interesting charity. But I do have my fingers crossed that I get a cactus friend, obviously, as well. All right, we are onto the final task of the desert egg. I have my fingers crossed that we are gonna go and get a legendary out of the desert egg. Honestly, I have no clue what we're gonna hatch, but hopefully it is a good pet. If it's a common, then uh, we'll be we'll be fine. But what's it gonna be? Please be good. An armadillo. Okay, that is a very interesting pet to go and hatch, to be honest. I. That's a cool pet, to be fair. If you want some proofs that I actually did donate money to these charities, I'm gonna go and put some screenshots on the screen right now to go and authenticate that these were genuine donations and real adoptions. Plus, if you do wanna go and help donate for the charity yourself, you can click the donate button on the side of the video where we're trying to fundraise a hundred pound for these animals. Even just liking and sharing this video will help to fundraise money and awareness for the charities. So make sure that you do like this video and if you're not already subscribed, then be sure to subscribe. You should watch me trade 100 dogs inside of Adopt Me. Click here right now to go and watch the video next. You're going to really like this video, click here right now to go and watch it.